Hello everybody, it's Murialda here again, and what else? We've got another figure unboxing for you. So this is the impulse buy of my January 2017 haul. And I say impulse buy because I was scrolling through. I, I even passed this one up and I'm like, wait a minute, is that plug? And scrolled back up and saw her, saw her price and said, what the hell, I'll buy her. But yeah. In case you don't know, this is Plug Cryostat, the insulator suit version of her. She is from Fight Epoth's Juden Chan, or Charging Ladies. And she is manufactured by Kotobukiya and is a 1 7 scale. So she was originally released way back in August of 2007. So she's a really like almost 10 years old and she was later re-released uh september of 2009 and i ordered her uh january 7th of 2017 she was from amiami uh, ab quality and she was 2180 yen or nineteen dollars and forty seven cents. Less than twenty bucks for a one seven scale figure. So I'll be honest, I'm not expecting too much out of this figure. Uh, I have found a couple of reviews and she seemed a little shiny or whatever, but I mean I love plug. Uh so the anime came out in two thousand nine, so I think this is based more off of the manga or whatever. But I really like the anime, despite it being, you know, completely about boobs and uh, girls peeing themselves when they get in the hit in the foreheads with baseball bats. It was still a very fun anime, and I loved how, like, Plug, I loved her. She's kind of a little troublemaker, but she's still pretty fun. So, yeah. I saw her pop up on AmiAmi Pre-Owned one day when I was just browsing, and I said, I'm buying her. I mean, for 20 bucks, can't go wrong. And there's the back. So, I do see here it says 2007.8. So, this may actually be the original release. I'm not sure. But even if it's not, I don't really care. <laughs> and then we've got uh, the top of her box. And the bottom of her box. So this is the only time I've seen them put a window in the bottom of the box. <laughs> Wonder what they're trying to show you, show off. Uh, so I have read in one of those reviews, she comes with a grounding wire. And they said that it is a major pain in the ass. So yay. Uh, let's go ahead and get her open. So technically, actually... She opens on the sides of the box, um, and I think from the pictures, the instructions are actually printed on the leaves. So, ten years later, yep, there's the instructions. So her arms come off, and the little black piece comes off of her chest. And it kind of shows you how you're supposed to route the wires around. Pull her out sideways. Uh, the inside is reminds me of Lego. <laughs> so yay, there's that. And there is plug in her blister packaging. So we'll spin that around. Her base is on the side. There's her back. And then she has her wires on the side as well and the base has a little mirror sticker so you can see uh, her crotch so yeah um I will say this from the pictures I've seen she has a major camel toe because her wire is supposed to be routed through that so yeah just be prepared for it not my favorite thing in the world but it is what it is so we'll pull this off and there is tape, and it's on like the corners. Pop that 
that off. And there we go. So Plug, how does it feel after 10 long years to be free of your blister packaging? <laughs> okay, so there is her grounding wire. You can see it's got the little connection on the end. She's supposed to be licking it. And that other end is going into a hole on her butt. Uh, here is her base, which is just a plain black disc with some crud on it. And this is where you're supposed to put that mirror sticker. Which, what happened to that mirror sticker? Well, I'll find it soon enough. And yeah, where did it go? Oh, it's, it's stuck to the packaging with tape. It is really stuck to the packaging with tape. There, a mirror sticker. Woohoo. I probably won't put this on during this unboxing though. Just because it's a pain to get those things right. So there is Plug herself with lots of plastic on her. And one there, one there, and one there, and one there. So. I had mentioned how, like, in the pictures, she s seemed, like, shiny. I'm not talking about her suit when I say that, because her suit is supposed to be, like, grubber. And, yeah, it is supposed to be shiny, but, like, her skin tone. Um, like, maybe if we, yeah, you can see, like, her neck, it's kind of shiny. But you can also see she's sticking out her tongue so she can lick the cord. So, I mean, it is an old figure, so it's kind of expected. Oh, well, maybe not expected, but you gotta give it a little bit of slack. So, we can take her head off. All right? No, her head does not come off, but her arms should come off. They are really stuck in there. There we go, that one finally came out. There we go. And then this yellow piece of her suit should, uh, Yeah, it shows this, like, yellow piece sliding up a little bit. Gotta break it free from its ten years of stickying. And then this cracks and pops. But this piece should come out as well. I'm When I'm displaying her, I'm going to leave it in. So, if we can even, come on, there we go. So you can see her chest being exposed a little bit. Um, so since it's Kotobukiya, there are like no painted nipples, and it's just, you know, half the boob. But they are pointy, so there's the hint of the nipples. And then the arms would go back in. I'm not going to put it in real tight because I'm going to put that piece back on. But that's kind of what she looks like without her chest piece on. So let's go ahead and put that back on. Just so that it's out of all, all back together. She does have very nicely defined uh, rib cage and belly line. And she's got a belly button down there even. But once we get this back on, you won't be able to see it at all. And that just kind of pops back on. Um, so I thought that was a drop of water because I had been drinking water, but it's actually like a drop of glue right there on her hair. But I can live with that. Like I said, I for less than 20 bucks and a figure that's almost 10 years old, 
I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of her. But, I mean, she is pretty dang good for what, for all that considered. Okay. Uh, the base you don't really need because she just sits on it. She doesn't peg into it or anything. Uh, there is the camel toe I was talking about. It's a very tight rubber suit. And there is where the wire goes in. And then it routes around her and goes into her hand and she's licking the end of it. So, let's see if we can do that. No guarantees. I may give up because I have read it is very frustrating. So the wire is actually green, which is like a grounding wire's color. It's hard to tell. So it, from a distance, it does look black. Okay, so we'll shove that up her butthole. <laughs> And then let's try to straighten it out a bit and wrap it around her. Oh, actually, don't shove it up her butthole yet. Shove it through her hand because that kind of holds it in place. And then wrap it around and shove it up her butthole. That just sounds wrong. But it's fun to say. Come on, plug. We know you want anal. <laughs> so it acts kind of like a tail. And when you pull it tight, you can see it does like go into her camel toe. And then we'll just wrap it around her a little bit. And then through her hand. and twist it so maybe it goes like this and come on come on you can do it no ah, it's stuck behind her collar no it's not as bad as the review made it sound but to get it right there we go She's kind of licking it now. So yeah, that wasn't necessarily that bad. And I mean, it's probably not wrapped around her like they would expect it to be, as in indicated by the picture. But it's good enough. She's kind of a little klutz, so it would make sense that she's wrapping it around herself, kind of trapping herself. So let's do a spin around of her. Yeah. And she's got like the plug head hair ornaments which is kind of neat honestly she's not that bad hair is a little flat not not sculpted very with much detail but the tip of it is and it does have some shading in there uh, the insulator suit it does have a little bit of shading not much but a little bit so yeah I mean less than 20 bucks she looks pretty good like I said, her neck's a little bit shiny, but maybe she's just sweating. She She's had a busy day. But yeah, anyways, this is Plug Cryostat, the insulator suit version of her. She is from Fight Epots Juden-chan, or the Charging Ladies. They, they, they're they like Ultimate Dimension, and they come into our dimension, and they are invisible. They can fly and pass through walls and stuff. And their goal in life is to go around, find depressed people, stick a giant plug into them, and charge them up and make them happy again. So, yeah. But she is manufactured by Kotobukiya and is a 1 7 scale. And she was originally released August of 2007, before the anime even came out. So, probably from the uh, manga or light novel or whatever it's based off of. And she was later re-released uh, September t of 2009. I think, based on what I read on the box, that this is the original version of her, but I could be wrong. And I got her from AmiAmi pre-owned AB quality uh, for 2,180 yen or $19.47 US. 
So yeah, a very good deal. I'm happy. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.